time has come when I should sincerely come out to discharge my duty as a peaceful member of my party. And I want to say today, without any fear of contradiction, without any fear of intimidation, without any fear of any quota or any authority anywhere, that there is fire on the mountain as far as the APC is concerned in Kano State. Pyre on the mountain. I repeat, pyre on the mountain. This is the right time to say it because we have been going through silent crisis. We have been going through party administration, especially in the area of party politicking, with a lot of intrigues, with a lot of exclusion of members. Management and administration of the party is being done exclusively by few members of the party who are by all standard are not even supposed to handle what they are handling for the party APC. I want to say, for the purposes of clarification, that I'm talking about party politics in Kano, in our party APC. When you come to talk about governance, governance, where Dr. Abdullah Umar Ganduje is taking charge, I have nothing against that. Chasing witch hunting of party members. And this inaction or this activity is being perpetrated by some members whom I believe Dr. Abdullah Umar Ganduje does not realize. He has handed over the affairs of the party to some individual who are now simply watching out their own bid. Through their misdeed, today we have lost so many significant personalities, VIP, in the party because the party is not being managed with what you call democratic inclusiveness. I want to say without any fear of contradiction, I want to say without any fear of being quoted, that is a former commissioner for local government affairs, who is now the running mate to our gubernatorial candidate in person of Honorable Muritala Selangaro. Muritala Selangaro has now turned to be like a cancer ward. Muritala Selangaro has now turned to be like a traitor. Muritala Selangaro has now turned to be the destroyer of the success of our party, APC in Kano, but the governor never realized it. I therefore want to be the first person in Nigeria and the first peaceful APC in Kano State and in my position and my capacity as the leader of the House of Representatives, which of course I am also the leader of my party in the jurisdiction of the House of Representatives, to say that APC is in trouble, to say that APC is in crisis because this gentleman has proved to be the one to destroy APC by chasing so many good people in the party. He has caused this party the exit and the camping of more than five members of the House of Reps. They left simply because he hated them. They, didn't, they were denied tickets, even with the agenda of Femi Bajabi Amira, the Speaker of the House, to always go and embrace the issue of continuity in parliamentary business. The, the agenda of the ninth House of Representatives under Femi Bajabi Amira has always been about diplomacy, diplomacy, co co uh, continuation, and also joint, 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 joint task, working together with every component of the party to be able to keep one government under one system. He has taken this party to the gutters now. We lost nine members of the House of Representatives to another party. We have lost key members. Take, for instance, Honorable Kabiru al Lulum was a former speaker of Kano State three times three-term speaker of Kano State, very high-level key stakeholder in Kano. Today, as I speak to you, because of the inactions and the, the, the arrogance of Murita Lassalangaru, we have lost key members. Take, for instance, Honorable Kabiru al Hassanulum was a former speaker of Kano State three times. Three-term speaker of Kano State, very high-level key stakeholder in Kano. Today, as I speak to you, because of the inactions and the, the, the arrogance of Muritala Selangaru, this man is no more in the APC. He has slept with the NNPP. I want to also tell you that there are other members who wanted to run for governorship. They were all chased away, embarrassed, simply because Muritala Selangaru was nursing gubernatorial ambition. As God may have it, the good God, the very good God, the God that loves all, the God that knows today and God that knows tomorrow. God knew that with Muritala as governor, the Kano would have been in trouble. Governor uh, Muritala's ambition was therefore mad 
by the wisdom and the spirit of God, Allah's ban was Allah. He could not get it. And this was possible because our governor also saw it, saw the handwriting on the wall.